Hannah's here, Central Huron Secondary School. Now our school has been around a long time. It's been around since 1866. So this school is a year older than Canada. Now, um, I'm a graduate of the school, graduated 82, 83. We had our own jackets. I was in the auto shop here when I went to school and I'm now the auto shop teacher, believe it or not. So I thought it'd be fun if we did a few segments of then and now. There's a lot of interesting stuff and a lot of changes have happened here since then. So every week I'm going to try to do a then and now. And uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to do the cafeteria. So we're going to go in here and we're going to visit Heather. So follow me. Heather! Come on in, pal. Hey, there hey, she is. Nice to see you. Look at this, Heather. I got my coat on. Oh, yeah. Now, Nice coat. Yeah, yeah. 82, 83, that many know, years ago? I know. See, they had poor quality leather back then because it shrunk so much. Now, Heather, tell me, the hottest ticket in the cafeteria today is what we call the bee sandy. All the kids are talking about them. It's a breakfast sandwich, and Heather makes the best breakfast sandwich in town, and all the kids are buying them. Now, let's go back a few years. When I went to school... Oh, that's a lot of years ago. It is a lot of years ago. The hottest item on the market back then, I believe, was French fries and gravy. Everybody bought French fries and gravy. Now, when it's heyday, how many lunch periods did we have here? Do you remember? I think three. I'm when pretty I sure. I started here anyway. There were three lunch periods, and I think when I came here, I know there were two for sure. Did you sell a lot of French fries back then? Uh, yeah, about 210 pounds a day. 210 pounds of French fries a day. That's a lot of pounds of French Every day. Every day. Holy cow. They must have brought their own french fry truck, didn't they? Pretty much, yeah. Holy smokes. Uh, so is the breakfast sandwich one of the hottest items here today? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Right on. So, if you think this is interesting information want to see more of these, what I want you to do is, um, if you click the like or the heart, you're doing that for Heather. That's because you remember buying something for Heather, or you just know her and you love her. So I'm going to put a heart on that. And if you press share on your little box, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy five breakfast sandwiches and I'm going to deliver them to you as long as you're within, we'll say, 10 miles of the high school. Now, if you're Teresa living all the way out in Vancouver, and I know, Teresa, you're going to watch this, if you win, then I will deliver them to the person of your choice within 10 kilometers of here. And I know you have a lot of school friends still in the area, so I... We can make that arrangement, oh, can't we, sure. Heather? For sure. All right. Well, I want to thank you for tuning in. I think the next segment we're going to do, if this is popular, next week we're going to go down to the rifle range. That's right. This school used to have a rifle range and an armory. And if you want to know more about that, start clicking share. Thank you and see you later.